Hi guys, the unboxing you're about to see, I mentioned in the, um, while I'm describing it, that you can, that I'll link it from Diamond Art Club's website. I don't know what I did. I kind of space cadet it out there. You can't, it's not going to be from Diamond Art Club's website. You're going to have to go to the Michaels website to order this diamond painting. And I will include the link in the description, but I'm not sure um, if it is available. And I'm not sure what Michaels procedure is for, you know, like if they have a wish list or anything like that. So um, just watch this unboxing. And then if um, I will link it from the Michaels website and you can just go there and see if it's available. All right, thanks a lot, enjoy. Hi everyone, it's Angie the Craft Nato and I'm back with another unboxing. Today's unboxing comes to us from Michaels. Um, it comes to us from Diamond Art Club via Michaels. So this was the new release that came, la that came out last Saturday. Um, today's the 28th, so it would have been the 21st. So I was a little leery about ordering from Michaels instead of Diamond Art Club um, just because I wasn't sure how long they were going to take to ship and I didn't get a notification that it had shipped until like the day before I got it. So what did I get from Michaels from the new releases? I got Dragon of Fire by Robin Coney. So I do love dragons, I love a good dragon diamond painting, and I couldn't pass this one up. This one is a square diamond painting kit. It is 56 by 74 centimeters, which is 22 by 29 inches. I wish it was 22 by 30 because then I could get a standard frame for it, but you know, it is what it is. And 56 by 74, it's still within the size range that Jeff and I can make a wrapped frame for it. So this is definitely one that I'm going to hang and display either in Nate's game room or in my craft room on a rotating basis. So let's get into this and see what we've got. If you're new to Diamond Art Club, where's my sticker? Uh-oh, oh, there it is. Um, Diamond Art Club comes with their standard toolkit which includes a clear boat with a funnel, two plates of heart-shaped wax, which are better than the average square wax that comes with, um, you know, some of your more budget-friendly diamond painting kits. Pay no attention to my nails, you guys. I just got home from up north. I've got up north nails, <laughs> up north vacation nails, but I wanted to get this filmed and out there um, just in case anybody um, was still looking at this diamond painting. And I've been out of town since last Tuesday, so I'm not even sure if this one is still available. Um, I'll check the, I'll link it. I'm going to link this diamond painting in the description of this video. And uh, if it's not still available, you can always put your email in to be notified for when it does come back into stock. So um, there's that. Either that or it'll take you to the link and you can order it. So you have your blue diamond painting pen, a squishy for your pen, some baggies to put drills in, and it does come with a thin four placer for your multi place for the other end of your pen, as well as a small sticker that you can use for your log book, which shows the title and a picture of the image and the dimensions and the artist and all of that good stuff. But let's get to what really matters, and that is the canvas itself. So let me get in here. I'm so excited. It feels like forever since I've gotten a new Diamond Art Club. It's only been a couple of weeks, I suppose, but it feels like it's been forever. So I'm excited about the colors in this one. If you've been around my channel, you know that my favorite color is orange, and this is going to have beautiful reds and oranges in it and I'm really excited to see it and I haven't done one like this in a very long time this is going to be one that I'm going to do that's just going to be for me it's just going to be for funsies and holy wow this thing has 66 colors you guys wow that is a ton of colors for this size, 56 by 74, 66 is just a lot of colors. I think that my Diamond Art Club's, um, the 
largest number of the most number of colors that I have on a diamond art club other than this is Spirit of Flight by Josephine Wall and that also has 66 colors. Where do all those colors go? That's unbelievable because I'm looking at this canvas and it really doesn't look that confetti heavy. It looks like there's quite a bit of multi-placing and color blocking areas. So I'm not sure where all 66 of those colors are going to go, but maybe it's deceiving. Maybe I'm maybe it's maybe it's more confetti heavy than I'm realizing, but it, it sure doesn't look like it. But if you've never had a Diamond Art Club before, they use, it's called a tarpaulin canvas. It's very soft on the back. I love to pet my canvases. I think everybody does. It has surged and scalloped edges to protect against fraying. Um, you have your legends are on both sides, top left and bottom right. And you have both letters, numbers, and symbols. Um, obviously, with that many colors, you're going to have to incorporate some symbols into your legend. So you also get a step-by-step -step instruction guide on how to diamond paint in case you're new to diamond painting. And it also comes with this large set of stickers. This includes a larger version of the image with the start and end date that you can write in there, along with pre-scored stickers for labeling your diamond storage containers with the code and the DMC number um, for that. So looking at this legend, I can tell you that there are four AB diamonds in this diamond painting. Um, AB stands for Aurora Borealis. It's an iridescent coating that goes on the drills that makes them um, shimmer in like a multicolored hue. And we'll take a look at that once we get the drills out. It's going to take us a hot minute to go through 66 different colors of drills, isn't it? That's okay. I don't mind. Look at Look at how many different colors are on there. I mean, just look at that color chart. It's like every color under the sun. This one is going to be so fun. I don't know if I mentioned this is a square diamond painting. So glad that August is almost over because I need to do something for me. And this is going to be just one for me, just for fun. And I'm going to be hopping right on this, I promise you. What if this would qualify for drills and chills? What do you guys think? I know I technically said I already picked out my project for drills and chills, but I don't think I've kitted it up yet. No, I haven't. So I could change. I sure could. So um, let's just, well, before I get the drills out, um, take a look at the drill field. It is nice and clear. I've never encountered anything less than a clear drill field in any of my canvases from Diamond Art Club. And I do have a couple. So um, the drill field is nice and clear. And I don't see any symbols on here that look to be, let me just take a quick look just for, just so I'm not speaking out of turn. Um, I don't know, 320, let's see what they look like. Nope, they look totally different on the canvas. Yeah, I don't see anything that looks like it's going to be questionable or um, be easily confused with another symbol, so that's good. I know sometimes you can get arrows that go this direction and, and the other direction, and they have very similar colored backgrounds, and that can be a bit confusing, especially if you are going to, you know, turn your canvas to the side to work on it. I kind of tend to turn my canvas all different directions when I'm working on it. Um, so it can be a little confusing when you have those arrows, you know, going different directions, but it doesn't look like we have that problem on this diamond painting. So let's get into these gorgeous, gorgeous colors and see what we've got. These are going to be so pretty. So we've got two big bags of 742 yellow, three big bags of 606 red, two bags of 741, a deeper yellow, two bags of 666 red, two bags of 740 orange, two bags of 743, a little bit paler yellow. Then we have three bags of 939 navy blue, one, two, one, two, three, four, five bags of 310, 
which I would expect that with all of the background. And I'm just looking at the backs of these 310s, and these look absolutely magnificent. Like, I can't, honestly, these are like the best looking black drills I've seen in a really long time. There's no dimpling, no pinpricks in the back. They're just completely flat across. I don't know if I can show you guys, but they look really, really good. So I know for a while there, we were having a little bit of a problem with black drills, um, but I'm glad to see that that is resolved. And yeah, those look really great. All of them look really good, but especially, you know, we try to pay attention to the black because that seems to be the darker colors that have the most problems for whatever reason. 947 orange, that's a really beautiful bright orange. That's like just like a fire orange. 415 gray. Then we have 321 red. I think between that and 498 are my favorite reds. 823 dark blue. 820 bright blue. 498 red. 445 yellow. 3855 sherbet orange. 3828 light brown. And then we get to our first AB. So this is our first um, iridescent coated drill, 129, a very pale yellow. And you can see that multicolored shimmer that comes off because of the iridescent coating. So we'll look at the canvas and see where our ABs are gonna go as soon as we look at all of these drills. So we have 470 uh, army green, 834 tan, 340 purple, 3346 dark green, 977 orange, 3861 mauve, 125, which I believe that this is the AB equivalent of 3756, which is that very, very light mint green. And then we have 165 pale yellow. Now we're getting into our strips that have the least quantity, a uh, lesser quantity of drills, I should say. So excuse my rustling while I get these in order here. 937 green, 796, a beautiful blue. 413 gray, 318 gray, 155 purple, 3860, like a dark mauve, 792 blue, 3836 lavender, 141, which is the white AB, 3776 brownish orange, 414 gray, 301 brown, 648 gray, 3864 tan, 550 purple, 3023 gray, 126, which is our fourth AB, which is a lavender. That's interesting. I wonder where that lavender is going to go. Probably in the wings. We'll see. 797 blue, 3835 purple, and 869 brown. Wow, you guys, this is a lot of colors, and we still have one strip left to go. This is a ton of colors. 738 tan, 647 gray, 471 green, 3854 orange, 677 tan, 420 brown, 898 brown, 3064 like a dark flesh tone, 3325 blue, 961 pink, 772 mint, 642 beige, 754 peach, 3727 purple, 3348 green, 799 and 336 blue, 210 purple, and 3778 and 894, a couple of pinks, different pinks. One's a peachy pink, one's a pinky pink. So those are the 66 whopping colors that are in the Dragon of Fire. And I love this. He is such a fierce looking dragon. And I love how it's just this wall of flames in his wings. So let's take a look and see where the ABs are gonna go. They are symbols number one, two, three, and four on the canvas. 
So I'm looking through one through three and four. Four is um, this is the white AB. So it's going to go here in his uh, ear and in his teeth, of course, and some on his talons, some on his tail. One, which was, um, oh, I'm not sure what color that was. That was the pinky color. That's actually going to go in the moon. Okay, one and two. Two is the lavender. So the moon is going to be all ABs. That's going to look really, really cool to have that moon be just glistening. Number three is the yellow. And that is probably going to go in the flames somewhere, I would think. Yeah. So here in the flames, we've got three and four, which are the white. So we've got three and four mixed in in the flames that are coming right out of his mouth. Three and four also in his talons here and in his talons over here. So that is where the ABs are going to go. And I, I can't wait to do this one. Like I said, I've got no reason in mind for this. Um, nothing other than just I thought it was kind of a cool, different diamond painting um, than what I usually do, and it sounded like fun. So that's what I have for you today. Um, if you have any questions, you can leave them down in the comments. And like I said, I'll link this in the description box below. Uh, thank you for watching, and I will be back with another video very soon. I had several deliveries while I was out of town. Of course, while I was out of town, I got several deliveries. So I've got a lot of videos to make and you should be seeing uh, videos pretty much every day this week. So I apologize for being out um, and not having videos for this past few days. But, you know, I needed a, I needed a mental health break. <laughs> so and I did not test the sticky of the canvas, very sticky canvas. Um, I've never had a problem with adhesive with Diamond Art Club either. So I just thought I'd throw that in at the end. So you guys, I hope you all have a great day and I will talk to you soon. Thanks a lot for stopping by. Bye.